got brown, green wind, and other home energies. Hey, like I was saying, I'm kind of moving along without uh, doing so much video, so you're missing out on a lot. And then I started realizing I was already doing this stage. I was going to show you all the connections. I've got them here. And I've got them basically separated where they don't touch each other, except for a few. And everything's real close, real close to the center. And I'm going to have to get these all set up. I've got the pattern on the piece right now. Rather than uh, take the pattern off later, uh, I don't want to cast it in. I'm going to try a little saran wrap on top of it and grease that and then go from there. Maybe I can keep that straight on the mold. And seeing as this is a prototype, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it's not going to hurt anything. Even if, if, even if it does melt the plastic into the paper and take the paper up with it, i uh, really not too worried about it. But there's the look at it. And I get to position each one of these as I soak this thing with... Uh, soak this thing with super glue and make sure that they're all connected tight and I'm going to try to soak it in between. Got a little bit of air bubble, uh, but I'm sure that's going to that's going to get filled with the resin because it's going to be at the top and I can basically pat that in. I'm only going to cover the one side, then I'm going to cut close, I'm going to cut close to right here and leave a little over the edge and that ought to be okay. I left enough to uh, come on over to out here, so I'll just leave all that flat until it's time for cast, and I'll put another piece on the bottom after I get the saran wrap and then the grease. So anyway, that's as far as I'm at. Like I said, these coils are a quarter inch inside, and one and, an, uh, one and three quarters wide, OD, three quarters thick, 300 turns. I'll get back at you in a little bit. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Well, there we go so far. This out here is already dry, and you can see it picks up them coils fine, holds them together. But go ahead and add another tube of super glue. All of this that you see on top was about three quarters of a tube of super glue. There we go. Just a little more out in here. I'm not touching. About it. Not that bad. I'm sure glad to see this coming along as fast as it is. That seems to be a little faster and a little easier. I'll let that dry and come back, and then we'll lift it out, flip it over, and we we'll just tack another piece on the bottom, and after I cut off all the excess, then I'll go ahead and set up the mold, get it all ready for the final. And maybe within this video, we get to mount it up and give it a test. Still a few more things to do. Got to make some hardware for mounting this, because I left the original hardware that was sent with the uh, unit from Belgrade Machine. Left that at home, and I came up here. There we go. Well, it looks like that's about it. For now, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Keep smiling, have a ball. God bless. Well, there you have it. Yeah, this has all been finished up, filled in, and I ran a bead of super glue around the outside and then trim to the shape of this. This is not going to fall apart and a bunch of little fibers falling all over the place. There we are. Well, that thing's got some weight. That's quite a bit. Now, the last thing I'll do is I'll get all these lined up and get them on their little on their little uh, terminals and solder them up. And I'll set this to the side and I'll get the uh, mold ready. Well, as you can see, when I move this, a little bit of reflection and stuff. Uh, I've covered that with saran wrap, wrapped it this way and wrapped it that way till it clung to itself and pulled itself tight, nice and sweet. And I'll grease all this. I've got these holes here countersunk and this is screwed down nice and tight. This is going to get a nice layer of grease. This has been countersunk. So when I put the lid on, I'm going to grease the front and the bottom of this and all the way around real nice. And that'll go in the middle. So it'll all be greased. I'll pour a little bit of fiberglass resin in there. And then I'll be able to set this down. This is a piece of plexiglass. Got six holes drilled in it. And then six more holes drilled in it real quick. Just to line these up. That's going to be inside and cast. This will come over the edge right here. These will be outside. And this is to keep them all straight right here. So this will come off. I'm going to have another block that mounts on here. The all thread that hold the stator are going here. So this will wind up in the middle. And that's part of keeping all these in line. And there'll be two more down here. And I made them all in just basically two tabs. Uh, this is good. The reason why I'm taking my wires out, because I'm going to design the block later. I'm just basically here for testing. This is prototype. The outside, this is going to go from star, which is twice the voltage, and just the amperage of what the coil itself can do. And then it'll go to our, what we call star series. Uh, it'll go uh, be switched over to Delta, where it puts uh, three coils and three more coils, the two phases. You always have two phases generating. Well, they can put those in series, 
which is star, or into parallel, which gives you twice the amps and the regular uh, voltage. It's going to switch over to delta when it gets up into the higher speeds. And two strands of 18 gauge is almost like 14 gauge. So we ought to be able to get some decent wattage out without the stator overheating. And that's what I'm looking for. So it's going to be a pretty neat unit and trying to do it small and cheap where everybody can afford it. That's my dream. Uh, see too many companies sitting there ripping people off and I think I can do this better and I know these machines are 95% efficient. Show you one of the first coils I had. As you can see the shaping right there. That's what that was wound for. That was 88 turns. Stepping down from the bigger unit. Oh, if I figured I'd half everything. Well, you can't do everything by percentage. I found that out the hard way. These are 300 turns and that's what it took. I thought that being too small of a hole inside wouldn't really do too well. But talking to another expert, he says as long as the center of this is over the center of the magnet you're doing good he says i'm cutting it close but he said this will work and be all right and when i wound uh, when i tried the test coil it did great and i multiplied it times the 1.42 to go from rms to uh, peak to peak then I multiplied times three, saying one, two, three coils. And then when I added the other phase, I multiplied by two again, and it came up just above target voltage. That brought it up just a little bit, and I'm quite happy with that. I'm real glad it's an axial flux, and it's going to spin free in the lower winds. When it gets up to charging voltage, it's already in cut in, and I'm kind of excited about it. So anyway, I'm going to get to greasing all this and get this all set up, and then I'm just going to cast these on the outside and work with the other box later on. I'll incorporate it into the mold and everything like that. And I hope to make many of these for many people that are got the dream to get into green energy and wind energy, but can't afford the, the other units, the bigger units. And some people are uh, putting uh, units out with a five foot prop, calling them 1.5 kilowatt units, but there's not that much uh, power available in the wind, in the lower winds with a five foot prop. This will have a five foot prop. Um, it's not going to be a 1.5 kilowatt, but it's going to be 90, it's going to be 95, 97% efficient instead of 45% efficient and coming with a lie. Um, <laughs> uh, truth. Uh, when I'm done, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it low. And when y'all get it and like it, you can share the truth with everybody and probably be the, one of the only ones out there that are right dead on or showing somebody exactly what it is. I'll let y'all do the advertising. To me, that's worldwide and nationwide free advertisement, and it's good advertisement. No dissatisfied customers. I put it exactly where it's at. It worked in the taxi cab business. It works uh, in many businesses. The truth is much more powerful than trying to sell something with a lie. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Many good things to you and yours.